Hey Libra, this is Sunny, and this is your love reading for December 2016. Hopefully you guys can enjoy yourself this month. Uh, I'm hearing mouthful, mouthpiece. So maybe uh, you or someone around you is getting braces, maybe dentures, maybe you're eating a lot. I mean, this is the holiday seasons. Uh, if you celebrate all that that's going on in December. Um, and I'm, but I'm also picking up, like, be mindful of the things that you say because your words can be used as weapons during this time. But keep in mind that these are general readings and I may not talk about your situation nor make sense to you. Oh, I just lost a lot of air right there. <laughs> um, please watch your rising, your sun, your moon, and or your Venus signs for more accuracy. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please check out my website which is in the description below let me flip my phone over because that's don't want any distractions all right so i'm doing things a bit differently hopefully you guys like this new layout that i created um so yeah let's see what's going on for me i feel like something that you guys need to practice this month uh, with your partner or like just with love in general I'm hearing like safety so maybe have little cold words like if a, if an argument is getting heated just say hey babe red red stop like let's just stop we're getting too overwhelmed right now or just practice more safe sex So, there's going to be a lot going on for you guys this month, honestly. And I feel like some of you are going to be, like, taken back by what's going on. But I feel like, you know, it's good and bad. Like, maybe you guys are realizing and you're thankful <coughs> for the partner that you have. Or maybe you're thankful for all the lessons that you've encountered in regards to your love life and everything that you went through. Because, you know, you're understanding that it has made you a stronger person. But I also feel like, you know, you guys are, there's some sort of sadness in regards to some of you whether this is you personally or you're dealing with someone who has a lot of sadness built in because i feel like that there's someone around you who it's like they have this smile on their face but when they take this fake mask off it's like tears and sadness and and i feel like you know if this is you you need to understand where these emotions are coming from and it's time for you to no longer mask nor fake how you truly feel and allow for your partner to open up to you if you have a partner but i feel for some of you maybe you're dealing with people like if you're single like you meet people and they give you this facade that they're this and they're that but when you really get to know them like you just find out that they're so miserable and they don't have anything that they claim that they had um, I, I don't know why, no offense, but I feel like someone is like Taurus energy. Um, this may be you, this may be uh, someone around you with like Taurus in their chart. But I'm picking up like Taurus moon. Like this person is like really emotional and guarded. And I'm also picking up, you know, someone maybe with like low self-esteem. Like. Oh, yeah, that's kind of sad. But currently you guys are in the position where you have a lot going on. And it's like you're worried about finances. You're worried about maybe your image. Like you just want so much to go your way or you want it to be further off in life. Maybe if you aren't married yet, like you want it. Like you pictured yourself, you know, being married maybe two years ago. And, you know, there's some sort of sadness because I am picking up where some of you is like your family is saying, hey, when are you going to settle down yet? When are you going to have kids yet? When are you and your girlfriend or boyfriend going to get married? And it's just like, I'm not ready or I haven't found anybody special. So if you are going through that situation, you know, I, I feel like there's no need to rush. Because the cards are saying that you need to get your ducks in a row before you can have the dream life that you want. 
but I also feel that um, some of you are afraid of reliving your parents past especially if your parents like divorced or you grew up with them fighting or like you you could tell that like your mother and your father or whoever raised you like wasn't really happy because I am picking up that like some of you are just worried of mirroring past emotions and you know going through what somebody else went through I'm also picking up where there's an issue where like maybe you had a talk with your mother or your father and they expressed to you how they didn't want you to have the life that they had and I feel like this is weighing heavily on your heart um especially for my Libra females and this may go for my males but I'm just picking up like feminine energy maybe my Libra males maybe your mother had a conversation with you or like you saw your mother struggle there's something in regards to female energy that is going to really be like important this month um, I'm also picking up that some of you like you're in this merry-go-round you're it's just like you're you're very very busy you're very stressed and worried about things and I feel like this may be causing for you to be up and down emotionally up and down or you know and your partner may be noticing this about you uh, and they're just like hey one minute you're happy but then the next day you're sad you're bipolar what's what's up like what's wrong with you um or you're on or like <clears throat> when you are around people your energy just sinks sometimes so be careful of you interacting with people who are energy vampires and a lot of times like people don't don't even know that they are energy vampires um honestly a best way for you guys to protect yourself is to understand your own aura and you know understand your own emotions like if you go in a room and you feel very drained out of nowhere just say hey like this isn't me there's somebody in this room who's depressed has a lot of baggage they got a lot going on their emotions aren't my emotions you guys are taking on too many people's problems and i just feel like it's going back to the whole you don't want to relive a parent's disappointment or sacrifice that they had to make i just feel like there's like you guys grew up some of you don't get me wrong there was just like weirdness with parents or grandparents whatever the case may be um and you are kind of holding on to your parents baggage don't do that okay this is not it's not yours it's not yours understand that um if you are in a relationship or married i feel like your partner is coming from a place where I feel like they themselves are dealing with a lot of past issues and like just weird sadness in general. I feel like there was a recent uh, betrayal that they're still suffering from. And honestly, this may have been something that happened a long time ago. Um, and I, I feel like, you know, they may talk to you about it, uh, but they, <coughs> they have this fear of being stabbed in the back again. Because I, I keep hearing hurt again, wounded again. Um, and I just feel like this may cause some sort of um, damper within the relationship. Because you're, you're letting what happened to you in the past or you're letting these worries like really affect you and the people that you love. But if you are single, I feel like some of you are just attracting you know a lot of people who are hurt and i feel for some of you you're you're even attracting people you know who may be using you and are like master manipulators and sorry about that i was distracted what was i saying um that some of you are dealing with people who are wounded um or you some of you may be dealing if you're single you may be dealing with a master manipulator and somebody who is kind of like looking for revenge be careful of somebody just looking for a rebound um or maybe you are looking for a rebound i also feel for some of you like you may not be taking love too seriously but i feel like this is like for i want to say 30 percent of people who aren't taking love seriously um so that's really interesting that song love uh, love stop making a fool of me is playing in my head and i said the same things the same exact song for the gemini so this may be a 
an air side thing where like love is acting a bit foolishly or like ugh, who knows honey um but i feel like you know something that's going on in between you and love or maybe your partner i feel like there's a lot of secrets or you guys need to be more understanding of what's skin deep what's beyond skin deep and you know getting to the root of things that you've bottled in things that you thought you buried i feel like in order for you to improve with your relationships or like just improve with self-love in general like you guys are going to have to like dig out those wounds dig out those <coughs> skeletons and deal with them you know like you're going to have to deal with these issues because they're going to pop up some way somehow i believe mercury is going in retrograde this year um not this year this month or there may be just like a weird transit going on that wants everybody to like basically new year new you concept so yeah um but i also feel like this is gonna be a really good thing in a way because you know you're understanding the type of love that you deserve and you're understanding your partner on a more spiritual and dark side level all right so hopefully i do not get distracted again i'm just taking this as a sign that you know there may be some weird distractions uh in some people's relationships like be aware of like love triangles or somebody showing interest or like you feel like somebody showing interest but i also feel like something that's going to bring disturbance in the relationship is maybe you know really understanding your partner's past because i feel like you know somebody is going to open up and you know maybe the the stuff that they tell you or the stuff that you tell your partner is going to be a bit disturbing um because i i for some reason i'm picking up on like rape and like touching and weird fetishes but I feel like, you know, th this wasn't intended. So kind of like rape and being forced to do stuff. So, you know, like maybe you're, you're hearing things about that from your partner. Or if you experience that yourself, like you're opening that up with your partner. Um, so, yeah. But, um, okay, that song by Breaking Benjamin, Diary of Jane is popping out. So, yeah, you guys are just going to really open up to your partner. Or I feel like you, you need to. Like, in order for you to feel a new you are gonna have to like really break that and I feel like this is going to allow for your relationship to go on a new level or if you are honest with yourself if you're single whatever the case may be I want this to resonate with everybody regardless of your status um, but I feel like you know with you opening up regardless if you have a partner or not I feel like this is going to you know move your relationships to the next level and you aren't going to feel weighed down and, and some of you may have this confidence you know where you aren't worried about what other people think of you because you know yourself and you accept yourself a lot of times you know with relationships a, a big downfall is arguing about money true but some of you are arguing about money so stop that i heard that from angels but a big downfall with relationships is, is we often don't accept ourselves and you know there's an insecurity with ourselves which is causes a lot of insecurities with the relationship because we're projecting that energy out i said that for the aquarius so it seems like my air signs are going through this thing where you're you're projecting your worries out on to other people or you're just having this fear of once again mirroring what your mother or father or grandparents went through so once again their baggage is in your baggage you are who you are. Um, the angels are showing me this really big mirror. So, you know, take this time to reflect upon everything. You will understand growth. I'm also picking up that some of you, you're understanding your family tree, um, family. I'm hearing diagnosis for some reason. You know, maybe you're understanding like the health issues that's going on with your family or you're understanding this with your partner. Who knows? Oh, Lord, I'm tired of y'all motherfuckers throwing in what you want. Right. Okay, y'all. I'm sorry. <coughs> Child, I forgot what I was saying. Mm, let's just move the hell on. Okay, so this is how you guys are viewing love during this time. Some of you, you're you're viewing love as a bit stressful. 
I'm also hearing deadly for some reason. Um, maybe, maybe you guys are going through, some of you, I'm picking up like 10, 20%, going through issues of becoming a widow. Or maybe, you know, you're creating a will just in case you die or your partner dies. I feel like you guys are taking legal matters seriously, you know, in regards to your assets and what's coming on. But a lot of you, you're really worried about building an image. Like maybe you're focused on yourself or you're focused on your career. Um, I feel for some of you, um, you just want... Uh, don't say this the wrong way. I feel like you guys work very hard, you know, to get the things that you want because you want people to know that you're living good and you're living comfortably. And I feel like there may be an issue um, with your partner maybe complaining about you being a bit flashy or you're buying too much stuff or maybe your partner is like hey yeah work those extra hours so i can get this new car i want this new dresser for our room so i because i feel like you know some of you i feel like my libra males it's like maybe you are attracting if you are single you're attracting a lot of gold diggers i hate to say um or your wife or girlfriend just wants more nicer things and and, you know, I feel like some of you, you're just like, damn, do you want me for me or are you just interested in what I have to offer? Because it's like you want to please somebody or you just want to please yourself for this image that you want to keep up. So, you know, be careful of this happening because I am picking up that this is affecting particular relationships and maybe a relationship with yourself. OK, because I consider love readings as love for yourself, too. Um but back to the whole stressful thing so yeah you guys you know you you are gonna have to deal with this whole uh stressful deal you need to be careful of you going back into bad habits i see this happening um be mindful of your health because i am picking up where, you, where stuff is going to be a bit stressful um i'm also hearing guidelines set boundaries and follow maybe follow the rules or maybe i feel like you guys need to be how can i say this without this sounding weird okay when it comes to relationships some of you may feel as if you are restricted because you feel as if you have to tell your partner where you're going and how you're doing this and when you're doing that. And I feel like some of you see this as a problem. I feel like, you know, you guys need to be considerate and your partner as well of other people. So I feel like with the angels saying you guys need to follow guidelines, just like really, you know, understand the guidelines with relationships, respect, communication, honesty, trust, like really go by those guidelines and i feel like if you do then your relationship should be more smoother okay okay for the blockages that you guys are facing with relationships i do feel that some of you are dealing with a broken heart or you're dealing with somebody who's going through you know a bit of a rocky time emotionally or there's something going on with a particular death i hate to say like maybe a, a recent death of a parent or a death of um, a family member, friend, whatever the case may be. I feel like this is opening you up. I don't see this card as a blockage, even though I placed it in the block in the blockage uh, area. I don't see this as a blockage. I just see this as a way for you guys to see what's blocking you and emerge from it. So that's kind of sweet. Hopefully that's making sense, okay? <laughs> um, okay. One blockage that I am picking up, I kind of talked about this briefly, is the whole, like, placing other people's emotions and seeing them as yours, okay? Understand to separate your emotions and other people's emotions. And, you know, be mindful that you aren't overly reacting with your partner or like just with other people because i am picking up where some of you you're thinking too much okay you are be careful of the ex coming back or you're thinking about the ex and just like oh why did they hurt me and this and that i do feel for some of you it's like you're really thinking about an ex and you're just deeply reminiscing 
on this person and you're gonna have to let that go like honestly especially if you are in a new relationship because what are you benefiting from thinking of that person um maybe like there's some karmic energy that you still have with this person but you know i feel like you the angels are saying just send it good blessings and we will handle it you are just going to have to deal with that i feel like some of you you've dealt with somebody like a past relationship where this person like ran from you and you were chasing them <clears throat> and i feel like this person comes and goes i feel like this is from a libra woman like you've dealt with a man who like came and went and oh it, it, it was just too much let let him be where he is all right um and i feel like this this person had like really bad trust issues and they even you know said it their self go back to conversations that you have with this person since you're already reminiscing about them and just like try to remember this person either saying yeah i'm a dog or i don't do well with emotions you know i want a relationship but you know I'm, I'm not really ready i need to improve myself you know before i can step into a committed relationship pay attention to things like that and maybe you're if you're single right now you're dealing with men or women who are saying these exact things so once again some of you guys are definitely dealing with somebody who has a lot of emotional baggage um if you want to help them out you can it's your love life you can do what you want but at the same time just know that you are going to be dragged along with this person as they hop from one person to person trying to figure out themselves some of you guys need to be careful of you trying to find yourself through other people because i see this happening all right um so just control that really control that all right um but I really feel like, you know, something important that you guys, once again, going back to what I'm saying for the change in regards to you guys' love life is to honestly step out of your comfort zone. Release those, I'm hearing demons. Um, to me, demons can also represent um, negative traits, worries, anxiety, depression, um, addictions, okay? Letting that go. But, like... Cleaning out your closet, like cleaning the skeletons out your closet, Bear, um, moving those, I'm picking up, uh, some of you may go through surgery, and that may be st stressing a relationship, maybe you want surgery, I'm picking up surgery in regards to health, but then some people just want plastic surgery, so it's kind of going different ways, maybe, you know, your partner wants plastic surgery but it's affecting the relationship because that's more money and it's like oh baby you don't really need it i don't want you to get that you don't need that but some people are you know they're going through like heart surgery like leg surgery i'm also hearing eye surgery as well so uh, be careful you know and hopefully you guys recover if you are dealing with that or if you're dealing with somebody that's you know going through that but going back to like releasing those weights and emerging from that sadness because i do feel like a lot of you like you're just holding and bottling a lot in so step out of that it's it's okay to come into the light is what i'm hearing you know understand your dark side in order for you to see that light is okay honestly um i feel like you know relationships for you guys are going to be kind of stressful really tricky but you know it's just taking one step at a time you know i feel like if you guys do things right and if you go by the guidelines <laughs> i feel that like you know some of you may even enter into <clears throat> marriage honestly i am picking that up for some of you um but no just know that it's going to take some time i feel something is going to happen around the 9th 19th 29th of december um so yeah but I feel like you guys will be okay. You will be okay. Some of you are possibly dealing with, um, I'm picking up Scorpio, Sag, like between the cults of Scorpio and Sag. Some of you may be dealing with another Libra. I'm picking up as well. A Cancer. So that's really interesting. Um, or a Capricorn. Or you may have those signs in your chart. 
some of you may be dealing with an Aries as well um so yeah just be mindful of the doubtful energy honestly but you guys will be all right if you go by the guidelines so hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading good luck with everything and i should be back for january bye